Hey guys, Italy is keeping us busy. Campi Flegri is keeping us busy. I mean, I have just released a video about the topic is that rumbling that is happening at Campi Flegri, that land rise and all these earthquake swarms, is that triggering Vesuvius in some way? Because Vesuvius is showing signs of increased activity. So where is that coming from? Because when you look at the earthquakes list and there, this is the latest Campi Flegri earthquake swarm. And remember, these are only the ones that are above magnitude one. But we had an earthquake swarm at Campi Flegri of more than 50 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. And what you can see in this list, it's Campi Flegri, Vesuvius, Campi Flegri, Vesuvius, Campi Flegri, Vesuvius. And this has been going on for weeks. But today, let's focus on Campi Flegri again, because this this is the largest earthquake swarm that Campi Flegri has seen in weeks. So it's not coming down. And that's what officials have said in interviews. The director of the Vesuvius Observatory just recently said, let's not fool ourselves. This volcano is active. It's not coming down. And we know from the bulletins that the INGV, the Italian Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology that is connected with the Vesuvius Observatory that observes Campi Flegri and Vesuvius very, very tightly, they have confirmed the Brady seism, the land rise, the uplift underneath Campi Flegri, where the magma is, is continuing steadily with a land rise per month of one centimeter. That is about a third of an inch, a little more. So it is continuing. And in light of that, what do these earthquake swarms mean? Because this time these earthquake swarms also came with some effect at the Fumaroles that are located in the Solfatara crater. That is the most active crater of all these craters that belong to the Campi Flegri supervolcano that stretches over an area of 100 kilometers into the Gulf of Pozzuoli and on land. It's not a stratovolcano like Vesuvius that is highly visible and dominates the landscape. If you're in Naples, you can see it. And Naples, more than six million people, they're squeezed in by Campi Flegri and Vesuvius, unfortunately. So this is very, very dire because Campi Flegri is so densely populated because it doesn't look like a volcano. The soil there is very, very fertile, of course, because of past volcanic eruptions. And these craters, people didn't understand what they're settling on. So look at this picture, you see all these earthquakes there and they're basically the center of this is the area of Pozzuoli and the Solfatara area. So yesterday morning we had a strong earthquake swarm that began at Campi Flegri and it continued until today, until the morning of today. And it was about 53, 55 low magnitude earthquakes and in in terms of the number of earthquakes, this was something significant because we haven't seen such a large number in the recent weeks. Most of the earthquakes were in the range of micro seismicity. I mean, you see, I've shown you the list. I'll show it to you again. These are the quakes that are above magnitude one. And then also here are some of the epicenters of some of these earthquakes. I'll show you the epicenters in the background while I'll tell you more about what really has happened. This earthquake swarm was again located at shallow depth, basically between 3,800 and 5,000 meters. So what does that mean? We know now that the magma has risen up to a depth of only 3,900 meters. So that's also where the magma chamber is. So what does that mean? So they think, okay, still these earthquakes predominantly occurred in the hydrothermal system and they think they were probably triggered by an injection of hot fluids in that system 
into the cap rock layer that keeps the lid on. This is a graph. I like to show it often. This is this basically shows what has happened in the 1980s with the Brady seism because there was a significant land rise with significant earthquake swarms and then magma was rising up. Magma has risen up way higher since then. I'll show you both graphs, but I think this graph shows that cap rock layer that has been weakened significantly since this event in the 1980s. Only a third of its strength it is left. In the 1980s, the magma was a magma intrusion, means magma was leaking out of a magma chamber, but didn't make it to the top. It didn't cause an eruption. So now we know the magma is at shallow depth and it's infiltrating this area. So the hot fluids were injected somewhere, that's what they think. And then there were a few earthquakes that were even shallower at a depth of 2,800 meters. So, and that's the problem. They think these earthquakes may have been caused by some cracking of rocks in this area and that's a problem because if that cap rock layer the rocks there get more brittle magma is always looking for the way of least resistance when it's rising up and the more destroyed and brittle the rocks are the easier it is for magma so also these earthquakes were felt by the residents that are living around this crater, the Solfatara area, although they were in the lower magnitudes. But we've had that in the past. The residents feel these 1.5, 1.7 earthquakes. And of course, they're scared. So there were various reports. People posted this on social media, especially residents of Pischiarelli, that's an area of Pozzoli, that little fishing town there where the Brady Sison, that land rise, is seen the most. They have a port there. The land was rising that much that it was basically lowering the water levels and that alongside the piers of that port, now you can see grass growing instead of water being there. So many residents say they felt at least three tremors three of these over 50 tremors. And if we look at the list again, how many were there above magnitude one? Yeah, they probably felt those. And then this is something that I haven't heard from the residents with the past earthquake swarms. Um, they reported that they can smell increased sulfur that might come from the Solfatara area. But this time there were also reports that they heard these fumaroles making a sound like hissing, right? Like really something coming out there. And these fumaroles, they're monitored quite tightly, their temperatures and everything. But it seems with everything that was going on underneath, a lot was coming out of these fumaroles. And this area, the Pischiarelli Fumarole, is one of the most dominant area that shows this volcanic activity. So many tourists go there, they look at this, the residents can smell the sulfur that is coming from there. And it's basically located on the northeastern um, area of this Solfatara crater on the bottom, of course. So usually that high pressurized steam that comes out of this Fumarole has a temperature of around 96 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you can also see other features there, like these bubbling mud pools with the hot mud where the liquids are condensating. So it, it looks quite like something's really going on there. So with the Brady seism continuing, with the continued uplift of the land, with these continued earthquakes, that shows us that the system that is underneath Campi Flegri is still building up pressure. But of course, we still don't know if and when a potential volcanic eruption might occur. But we know they are preparing there. They're having more rehearsals, evacuation rehearsals, new evacuation plan, not only for earthquakes, but also for volcanic eruptions. This is, has been new. So we will have to, as always, guys, 
wait and see but there's a lot of things a lot of other things going on so check out my videos in the end screen i just released a video about a 300 feet tsunami that can hit settlements in norway and that is absolutely crazy guys a hundred meter hundred meter wave more than they're expecting here on the west coast if the magnitude 9 to 10 big earthquake is going to hit so this is absolutely insane check out this video i urge you to do that thanks for watching guys stay safe be prepared nature is throwing a lot at us it seems recently Thank you guys. If you want to support the channel, check out the links in the description or click the join button to become a member of the channel or support the channel with buying me a coffee on my buy me a coffee website. The link is in the description. And thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube with your supers. It really, really helps a lot. So see you soon. Hopefully. Bye bye guys.